I'm just excited to be here. We've got all these machines, it's all these green lights are machines running, making bullets. Ever wondered about the staggering scale of bullet production? Millions of bullets are churned out daily worldwide, a process that's both intricate and complex. From the raw materials to the final product, each bullet represents a precise engineering feat. Control has always been taken very seriously with Lehigh. We understand the importance of the product that we produce. In this exploration, we'll delve into the fascinating world of bullet manufacturing, uncovering the intricate details behind the seemingly simple projectile. We'll discuss the key materials used, the meticulous manufacturing process, and the relentless pursuit of quality and safety that ensures these lethal projectiles meet the highest standards. So, let's embark on a journey into the hidden world of bullet production. The importance of raw materials in bullet production. Bullet production starts with selecting the right raw materials. These materials must meet high performance standards while being cost effective and readily available. The key materials used in bullet manufacturing include lead, copper, brass, and steel. Each material plays a critical role in different components of the bullet. Lead, the core of bullet manufacturing. Lead is fundamental in bullet manufacturing, especially for the bullet's core. Known for its density and malleability, lead provides the necessary weight that contributes to a bullet's momentum and impact force. It is primarily extracted from ores like galena, which are mined globally. Countries such as China, Australia, and the United States are major producers of lead. The process starts with mining the lead ore which is then refined through various methods to remove impurities. The refined lead is cast into ingots, which are sent to bullet manufacturers. At the manufacturing facility, lead ingots are melted in large furnaces. The molten lead is often alloyed with small amounts of other metals, such as antimony, to increase its hardness. This hardness is crucial as it helps prevent deformation of the bullets during firing. The molten lead is poured into molds to create the cores of the bullets. These lead cores are then encased in a jacket made from copper or a similar material, enhancing the bullet's aerodynamics and preventing lead fouling in gun barrels. Copper, the jacket's role. Copper is another essential material in bullet production primarily used for the bullet jacket. The jacket encases the lead core and provides protection against corrosion. With copper's properties of malleability, corrosion, resistance, and high melting point, making it ideal for this purpose. Copper is extracted from ores like chalcopyrite and malachite. Major copper producing countries include Chile, Peru, and the United States. The extraction process involves crushing and grinding the ore, followed by froth flotation to concentrate the copper minerals. The concentrate is then smelted and refined to produce pure copper, which is formed into sheets or strips. Brass, an alloy of copper and zinc, is then used for bullet casings. The production of brass involves combining copper with zinc in a controlled ratio, typically 70% copper and 30% zinc. The raw materials for brass are sourced from copper and zinc mining operations. The brass casing, form and function. The production of brass involves melting copper and zinc together in a furnace, followed by casting the molten alloy into billets. These billets are then rolled into sheets or strips. In bullet manufacturing, Brass sheets are fed into machines that cut and form them into cylindrical shapes. These cylinders are drawn and trimmed to the correct dimensions to form the casings. The casings undergo further processing, including annealing, a heat treatment that increases their strength and ductility, essential for withstanding the high pressures generated during firing. Steel, for specialized bullets. Steel, while less common than lead or copper, is used in manufacturing bullets, particularly for armor-piercing rounds and some casings. 
Steel offers greater hardness and strength compared to lead and copper, making it suitable for specialized bullets designed to penetrate armor or other tough materials. Steel is produced from iron ore, which is abundant and mined in large quantities worldwide. The iron ore is smelted in blast furnaces to produce pig iron, which is then refined in steel mills. The addition of carbon and other elements during refining gives steel its characteristic hardness and strength. Sustainability in bullet manufacturing. Sustainability is increasingly important in bullet manufacturing. Manufacturers are adopting practices to reduce environmental impact and ensure long-term resource availability. One of the key sustainable practices is recycling lead. Instead of relying solely on newly mined lead, manufacturers often recycle spent bullets and other lead-containing products. This recycled lead is melted down refined, and reused in new bullet production, reducing the need for new mining operations. Copper and brass, used for bullet jackets and casings, are also widely recycled. Scrap metal from production processes, as well as spent casings collected from shooting ranges, are processed and reintroduced into the manufacturing cycle. This recycling conserves valuable resources and minimizes waste. Managing costs and material availability. Manufacturers face the challenge of balancing costs, material availability, and performance. For example, a Maychine producing full metal jacket FMJ bullets like the one Described can make 35,000 bullets every eight hours. The prices and availability of lead copper, brass, and steel fluctuate based on global demand, mining output, and geopolitical events. To manage these challenges, manufacturers often enter long-term contracts with suppliers to secure a steady supply of raw materials at predictable prices. They also invest in research and development to explore alternative materials and manufacturing techniques that can reduce costs without compromising performance. Bullet Design and Engineering, a detailed look. Not all bullets are created equal. Their design varies based on intended use, military, hunting, or sports shooting. Each type of bullet has specific requirements to meet its intended purpose. Military bullets, for instance, are engineered for both lethality and durability. They need to penetrate armor or other hard targets, requiring a harder core made from materials like steel or tungsten. For example, the 5.56 mm NATO round used in many military rifles is designed to balance accuracy, range, and stopping power. Military bullets must also be reliable under various conditions, such as extreme heat, cold, moisture, or dust. This reliability is achieved through coatings or treatments that prevent corrosion and enhance performance in harsh environments. In hunting, the focus shifts to stopping power and ethical kills. Hunting bullets are designed to expand upon impact, creating a larger wound channel that can quickly bring down game. This expansion is achieved through designs like soft point or hollow point bullets, where the tip of the bullet is engineered to flatten or mushroom upon hitting the target. Different game animals require different bullet characteristics. For example, bullets for large game like deer or elk are often heavier and designed to retain mass after impact for deep penetration. Conversely, bullets for smaller game might prioritize speed and a flatter trajectory for accuracy at longer ranges. In sports shooting, accuracy and consistency are crucial. Bullets designed for competitive shooting must be finely tuned to maintain a stable flight path and hit targets with precision. In events like the Olympics, even slight variations in bullet weight or shape can affect the outcome. Sport shooting bullets often feature a full metal jacket design where the lead core is completely encased in a harder metal, usually copper. This design helps reduce deformation during firing 
and maintains a consistent shape and weight, which is critical for accuracy. The engineering of bullets is not just about making them fly straight. It's about ensuring that every bullet performs consistently. One key aspect is the bullet's shape, which affects its aerodynamics. A well-designed bullet minimizes air drag, allowing it to travel farther and faster while maintaining stability. Modern bullets often have a pointed tip, known as a spitzer shape, which reduces air resistance. The boat tail design, where the base of the bullet tapers, further improves aerodynamic efficiency. This combination helps the bullet maintain higher velocities over long distances, enhancing accuracy. The weight of a bullet plays a crucial role in its design. Heavier bullets tend to retain energy better over long distances, making them more effective for long-range shooting. However, they require more gunpowder to achieve the same velocity as lighter bullets, which can affect recoil and handling. Weight distribution is also important. The center of mass must be precisely calculated to ensure the bullet spins uniformly around its axis as it travels through the air. This spin stabilization is essential for accuracy, which is why bullets are carefully engineered for perfect balance. The ballistic coefficient, BC, is a measure of a bullet's ability to overcome drag. A higher BC indicates that the bullet will maintain its speed better over long distances, making it more effective for long-range shooting. Engineers calculate the BC based on the bullet's shape, weight, and diameter. This coefficient is especially important for military and long-range shooting applications, where maintaining velocity and accuracy over distance can be crucial. While the basic principles of bullet design have remained largely the same, several innovations have improved accuracy, lethality, and efficiency. One notable advancement is the polymer-tipped bullet. This design features a plastic tip that enhances aerodynamics and initiates expansion even at lower velocities. Polymer-tipped bullets are popular in hunting, where rapid expansion upon impact is often desired. Frangible bullets are another innovation designed to disintegrate upon impact with hard surfaces. Made from compressed metal powder, these bullets are safer for training environments as they reduce the risk of ricochet. They are also used in situations where overpenetration could be dangerous, such as close quarters combat or law enforcement scenarios. The manufacturing process, step by step. The bullet manufacturing process begins with casting lead cores. Lead ingots are melted in large furnaces and the molten lead is poured into molds to form the cores. These cores are then allowed to cool and solidify before being removed from the molds. The cores are inspected for uniformity and quality before moving to the next stage. Once the lead cores are prepared, the next step is to form the jackets. Copper or brass sheets are cut into discs and then press it into shape using a process called cupping. The discs are drawn into cups, which are then expanded and shaped to fit around the lead core. The jacket is designed to be a tight fit around the core, providing a smooth surface for the bullet's flight. The core and jacket are then assembled and swagged into the final bullet shape. This involves pressing the core and jacket together in a die to form the bullet's final shape, which might include a pointed tip or boat tail. The swagging process ensures that the core and jacket are perfectly aligned and that the bullet meets specified dimensions. To enhance performance and prevent corrosion, Bullets are often coated with a thin layer of material. Common coatings include copper plating or polymer coatings, which provide a smooth surface and reduce friction in the barrel. The bullets are then inspected for any defects or inconsistencies and undergo final polishing to ensure a smooth finish. Quality control, ensuring safety and performance. 
Quality control is a critical aspect of bullet manufacturing. Each bullet must meet strict standards for safety, performance, and reliability. The quality control process involves several steps. Number one, weighing and measuring. Bullets are weighed and measured to ensure they meet specified tolerances. Any deviations from the required dimensions or weight are identified and corrected. Two, performance testing. Bullets are tested for performance using precision shooting equipment. This includes firing them from test rifles and measuring accuracy, velocity, and consistency. Three, X-ray inspection. Advanced technology, such as X-ray machines, is used to inspect bullets for internal defects. This non-destructive testing method ensures that each bullet is free of internal flaws that could affect performance. Four, random sampling. To maintain high standards, manufacturers often use random sampling to test batches of bullets. This process helps ensure that even if individual defects occur, they are identified and addressed. Packaging and distribution. Once bullets pass quality control, they are packaged and prepared for distribution. Packaging varies based on the type of bullet and its intended use. For example, military ammunition might be packed in sealed metal cans, while sports shooting ammunition might be sold in cardboard boxes with dividers to keep the bullets organized. Bullets are stored in climate-controlled warehouses to prevent corrosion and maintain their quality. Distribution involves careful planning to ensure that bullets reach their destinations safely and efficiently. This can involve road, rail, or air transport, with detailed documentation to track shipments and ensure compliance with regulations. As we conclude our exploration of bullet production, it's evident that this process is a testament to human ingenuity and precision. From the careful selection of raw materials to the intricate engineering behind each bullet, every step is meticulously executed to ensure safety and performance. The scale of bullet production is staggering, yet the industry maintains a relentless commitment to quality. The intricate details, from the lead core to the copper jacket, reflect the dedication of manufacturers to producing reliable and lethal projectiles. Ultimately, the world of bullet production is a fascinating blend of science, engineering, and manufacturing. It's a world where precision and safety are paramount and where each bullet represents a culmination of human skill and technology.